I definitely feel like we got a steal with our apartment, especially in London. I don't know many people who have, you know, this much square footage and would pay this little. We have a garden, we have Greenwich Park next door, easy connection to central London. It's an amazing space. We get lots of natural light, a home office space, like just so much for the little amount that we pay. Hi, welcome to my London flat. My name is Nancy, I'm 31 years old. I live in a two bedroom with study apartment in beautiful London with my husband. And we pay 1,750 pounds a month in rent, which roughly translates to 2,140 US dollars. My husband and I were both originally from Canada. We lived in Toronto and we ended up in London because I've always wanted to leave Canada and come to Europe. So I actually moved here in 2017 to study law while my husband moved to Paris for his MBA. And then we decided between Paris and London and London ended up being the winner. We currently live in the beautiful Royal Borough of Greenwich. It's one of four Royal Boroughs in London and it's located in Southeast London. We chose Greenwich because it has great running trails and my husband and I are both runners. It's very dog friendly. We're hoping to get a dog soon. There's Greenwich Park next door to us, which has amazing views of Canary Wharf and central London. And it's also very close to family. It was built in 1850 and belonged to some sort of lord in London and it's an amazing building. It has four flats. Essentially each floor occupies one flat. I love it because it's my style of apartment. It's old, but it's very charming. It has its little annoyances. Like for example, we can't open some of the windows in the living room and we can't have any handyman come look at it. Council tax, for those who don't know, is a fee that everyone has to pay whether you own a home or you're renting a home. And it helps to cover things like rubbish collection, schools, police force, like just a bunch of things to maintain your council, which in America would be like your neighborhood. So we're joining the millions of other people in the UK who will be struggling with super, super high um, utility bills. An estate agent who I had worked with before, she reached out to me via email and said, hey, I know that your lease is about to end currently and I have a great place that just hit the market and I think you should look at it. As soon as I came in and I saw the space, I knew it was ours because our main criteria was we wanted a bigger space than what we had previously and we also wanted outdoor space and this had everything. So it felt like love at first sight. Immediately when we got back home, I emailed the estate agent and I told her, I really really want this flat. And she said to me, you know, the competition is really high. So why don't you write a letter to the landlord with your offer? So that's what we did and explained that this is where, you know, my husband and I would like to live until we eventually buy our home, hopefully start a family while we're here as well and create lots of memories and so on. So because we moved in the middle of 2021 when the pandemic was still rife, we definitely scored a better deal on the flat and we were able to negotiate the price better. So before we moved in, we had to pay first month's rent. And then we also had to pay a security deposit, which was about five weeks rent. And the total was 4,610 US dollars. So when we moved into this flat, it was completely empty. So we got a new sofa from Maid, which is very popular here in the UK. We had to get new desks, new dining table, new everything. But luckily Facebook Marketplace came in handy for us and helped, you know, cut down some of the costs. So 
So when you walk into our apartment, you are greeted by a beautiful entryway. We have an amazing skylight that lets in so much natural light during the day. This is a toilet, quite small, and it's far from everything else in the flat. It's right in the entryway. And every time in the middle of the night, if you need to use a toilet, you have to walk all the way across the flat, which I hate. This is the hallway. I love this space, it's very bright. I can't wait to fill it with amazing photos and artwork. And on this side, the first thing you see when you go in is my office. I work here every single day. My desk was built for me by a friend. I love all the colors. I didn't want a beige space, so I did request permission to paint my office pink because I wanted it to be very colorful. Right across the office is our spare room. It's currently being occupied by a teenage boy. My husband's cousin is staying with us for a little bit. I love it because of the amount of storage space that we have. Right across from the spare room is one of my favorite spaces in the entire flat, our kitchen. I love how big and spacious it is. The walls with this beautiful lemon Sicilian wallpaper. We did some contact paper um, on the counter space. We changed um, the shelves here. A friend of mine did those as well. It's good to have handy friends. I love this space. And this table is actually my favorite find in the entire flat. It was $2,600 originally, and we got it for 200 pounds off Facebook Marketplace. And I love it. This cabinet, we actually DIY'd it. We got it from eBay. It was brown um, and another weird color and we changed it to black, changed the handles as well. And I think it looks super stylish and fits right in here. Off the dining room, we have my ultimate favorite space in the entire house. I love it because of how light filled it is. Every morning um, in the summer, usually around like 5 a.m., I come in and open the windows. I'm an early riser. My husband actually works um, from this space. This is his little home office setup which is fine because he only works from home maybe like two, three times a week. So he doesn't need a closed office space like me. Um, we have his little plant. He wanted to be a plant dad all by his lonesome. And my favorite piece of furniture here is our sofa, which we got from made.com. And I love how big it is. We can fit like so many people on here. Um, and it's great to just lounge watch Love Island or any other TV show or movie. And over here um, are these shelves that were actually already in the flat when we moved in. My husband is a fan of buying books that he doesn't read, so he collects them. And off the dining room, we have our master bedroom. And my favorite, favorite thing about this apartment is how much closet space we have. So we actually each get a closet. We get a top one um, and a bottom one. And this is a built-in vanity area. It was actually here when we moved in and I just had to buy this little mirror and pop this chair in. And this is where I get ready every single morning. And it also just feels very 1850s, which I love. So off our bedroom is our utility room, which is not very pretty. It feels very like cave dungeon-y. So we kind of just use it to store everything. And we also have our dryer, which is a luxury in London. Another room that we have off the dining is our shower room, which is very odd because there is so much room and there could have been enough space to add a toilet, but they've decided not to do that. So it's just a room with our shower so one creepy thing that we have in our flat is like some sort of dungeon under the step in the entryway we don't go in there my husband has gone in there once to make sure that it was walled off and that nobody would actually be coming through the house in the middle of the night i don't really want to dig deeper to find out because i don't want to be afraid to be in my own home but that's a fun fact about our apartment and it's very weird. So to get to our garden, unfortunately, we have to leave through the front door and walk all the way across the property to the back. So I'll take you. We're almost there. <laughs> so this is our garden or backyard. Um, I love how spacious it is. It's perfect for hosting like barbecues um, or any type of summer event. And one thing that we actually get as a perk for in our apartment is a garage and our garage is that one there in the corner. Um, and it's great because no one really uses the garden. So we kind of have it to ourselves most of the time. Um, 
most people use it, you know, just to park their cars. Um, so it's nice to have this space here out. And then we also have Greenwich Park that is literally across <laughs> like a stone throw away. So it's nice to have the option between hanging out out here or in the park. I think we'll be in this apartment for probably another year or two as our goal is to buy our own home soon. At the moment, with inflation, I don't think it's a good moment to buy in London because interest rates are pretty high. Hopefully in the next year or two, things would calm down a little bit because it's always nice to kind of own a little piece of land for yourself. We've decided to make London a permanent home because it's, you know, the hub for everything. We have family in Nigeria, we have family in Canada, so from London we can easily travel to both countries in just under seven hours. My role is very global, so I travel everywhere from the United States to the Middle East, Asia, so it's very easy to do that from London. It would be much harder to do that from Toronto. And we also like that London has some of the world's best schools, whether it's primary school, secondary school, universities. The weather is great. As much as, you know, British people tend to complain, coming from Canada when it's like minus 15 degrees most of the year, we don't mind the London weather. And fun fact, Paris is actually wetter and gloomier than London.